Brick Maniacs, hey, it is Lando here at the designer's desk of Cody Ocell with an all-new HE111 H16. Did I get it right? You did? Yes. And it's an all-new desk. I have a new space. <laughs> Keep moving around. I know. Nice. Move, uh, yeah, just moving. Not moving up, just moving. Just moving. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's the plane we have here. It's a German medium bomber of World War II. Uh, originally, it was a civilian aircraft because after World War I, Germans weren't allowed to make bombers. Okay. So they developed this with the intention of having it become a bomber, um, but it was actually a civilian aircraft um, there we go. prior to World War II beginning. So it developed in 1935. Um, and it was seen throughout the war during the Blitzkrieg, um, definitely bombing Britain right. uh, and scoring some victories against the Allies as well before the Allies established air superiority. Um, it could carry over 4,000 pounds of bombs, uh, up to seven machine guns. Sometimes they even had a 20, mil 20 millimeter cannon wow. um, under the fuselage. Um, so yeah, it's 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 very capable aircraft. They made a lot of different variants. Uh, this is the H-16 variant, so just minor tweaks, you know, upgraded radar, bulletproof glass, updated engines. Um, <laughs> there's a ton of different variants. So right. I just kind of had to pick one um, that kind of fit with 1944. Cool. So after 1944, it uh, wasn't really around too much, uh, except for in Spain. They, they still use it in Spain post World War II. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess moving on to the build, uh, that cockpit yeah. is pretty nuts. Yeah, it's, That's, uh, it's so it's almost sci-fi looking. Yeah, like on the, in the real in real life. It's oh, it totally futuristic, is. So. It definitely is. Um, some certain people might have gained some inspiration for that for some futuristic films. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what it looks like to me. It does. Um, so you, we you we now just like yeah we have a off. It's like slam a slam really spent a lot of time doing some cool artwork for um, the canopy on this. Yeah. Oops. Uh, it's a transparent sticker. Yeah. So we've finally come back to the capabilities of having transparent stickers yeah. in house. So it's, it's, nice. a, it's a really nice, easy application. Um, and you can't really tell it's a transparent sticker. It fits so well. Um, top and bottom of the aircraft um, underneath. So there's a. Uh, I didn't notice it initially, but it is a lopsided nose on the airplane. Yeah. So you have the pilot on the left, and then you have a gunner slash bombardier slash navigator, I believe. He fills multiple roles right. on the right side. And he can lay down, and he has his bomber sight right underneath. And um, that whole bubble is kind of shifted over to the right. Yeah, it's off, it's, it's off to the right. So he's got a machine gun here. Um, and there's some controls inside for the pilot as well. So pretty simple. You can just pull the top off. You can see there's some moderate cockpit details. Nice. Um, space for all the figures. And we have a full crew of five uh, that we can go over in a moment. Yeah. Also, you can take and move this forward. I believe it slides forward in real life. Sure. And the, the gunner can get on, on top here and man his MG-15. Um, that doesn't exist in brick arms. I believe I've gone over this before, like in the Stuka. Uh, so I just used the MG-34 to represent the MG-15. They look almost identical. It's just the MG-15 is a, an aircraft version of the machine gun built a little bit differently. Oh. So you can take this section off as well, and you can see the waste gunners, and there is some playability there. You can move the machine guns around a little bit. Um, space for a guy to be the belly gunner. And radio operator, there's a printed radio here internally. And it's, it's a very sturdy airplane. I, I made sure of that. It was really nice in the build having all the details stop right here. Yeah. So just going back, there's nothing. It's just solid bricks. Right. <laughs> it's just a hollow cavity in real life, but I took advantage of that and was able to make it a really strong airframe out of that. Which enables you to have a play feature like this and still maintain uh, structural integrity. So Right. That's cool. Speaking of play features. Play features. Oh, are you, okay, so you've been hinting at this bomb drop feature. I have. So the, the Germans stacked their bombs in this airplane vertically. So the fins were down um, and they, and they Bombs are mounted vertically, unlike a lot of Allied planes where the bombs are horizontally mounted inside the aircraft. So I came up with uh, a design here. You can open up these bomb bay doors. There's two here. They can have up to 16 bombs. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just seeing what I can do. Oh. <laughs> um, so you can see the bombs. Uh, you can see the fins here stacked there. 
and to make the bombs function, I have these kind of locks put in place. Oh. You just turn those off to the side a little bit. And then as you unlock it just by pivoting it over and you pull back on it, you can drop four bombs <laughs> <laughs> per side. Per side, what? And find my finger. Here we go. Here we go. How do they all stay on the pedestal? That's pretty <laughs> impressive. So it, it's, it's so much fun to play with that. I'm so glad I put that in there um, as a feature. Nice so of course you lose a little bit of historical accuracy because there would be windows right where I had the sliding mechanism, sure. but who cares? Would you rather have <laughs> bomb drops or windows? I think it's... Yeah. Um, I have a new uh, <laughs> rudder feature on the I'm tail I'm very happy here. that you got that bomb drop feature in there. Oh yeah, it's so much fun. Oh, and uh, sorry, to load it back in, um, you all know, obviously see this in the instructions, you can take this top off. That doesn't come off with it. Oh no! And you can stack the bombs back in on top. Just dropping them in vertically. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see how if to do that. <laughs> if you buy it, you'll see it. Oh, if you don't, then it's still kind of gapping. It's gapping! Gaposaurus Rex, Cody, come on. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. It's got to get things lined up. Line your bricks up. There we go. Um, so a new rudder I have here. Pretty cool. Um, we have elevators on the back, flaps, ailerons. Um, like a lot of the large airplanes we have going on around here, retractable landing gear. Um, I laid that out in the instructions as well. <laughs> yeah. How to do that. Very cool. So that's, uh, and we got your full crew there if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I'll go crew. over that quick. Uh, so uh, pilot and four crewmen. Um, so pilot's kind of got that nice leather jacket going on and those uh, um, just the officer pants kind of with the uh, jodhpurs, the side. Jodhpurs. That's what they're called, the size of the pants kind of like poofy. It's, I don't know. Poofy pants? Officer thing, it's cool. <laughs> uh, poofy pants. And then the crew is, they're wearing the uh, jumpsuit uh, with that interesting kind of diagonal uh, flap that, uh, the zipper that went across the entire suit. Um, these guys are kind of, uh, so it's, it's two different um, minifigure designs and then some various headgear to go with it. The gunners, you know, I've seen some, there's some pictures of showing them wearing the different helmets in combination mm -hmm. with a, uh, that oxygen mask. Um, I just thought that was a really unique look. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool looking. Yeah, thing. just just changing up the headgear changes just the whole look of the thing. Absolutely. Figure. So got a nice little crew there, um, all ready to operate the AG111. They look tough. Yeah, it's tough looking cool guys. Crew. Cool crew. Uh, yeah, printed elements uh, aside from the figures, we've got printed uh, iron cross the Balkan crews mm -hmm. on the sides. Um, each individual printed uh, two by two curve slope, as well as the curve slopes on top of the wings. Um, printed here. And then on the bottom we have the sticker. So it's mostly printing. There's only just a few stickers. Awesome. Um, but the stickers are really cool. <laughs> yeah. For then it's all transparent sticker sheet. There we go. There we go. What more to say? That's that's the model, right? I think so. Cool. It's, it's really durable. It's super playable. Um, did get a dihedral with the wing as well. well yeah, it's nice got a nice strong. little uh, can to it. It's cool. Yeah. Um, all right, that's the H E one eleven H sixteen, right? Nice. Designed by Cody Ocell, and it's all, all new kit here at Brickmania. Uh, for more information on this kit, please check out our website at brickmania.com. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, you know, you know the drill. You know so the drill. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, with that, that's the episode.